Hi little kids! Very soon we will celebrate the festival of Panihati. Panihati is the name of a village which is located a few hours away from Sri Mayapur Dam on the banks of the Ganga. Let's go back around 500 years ago where Raghunath Das is one of the six Goswamis and a very personal associate of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So one day, he decided to visit Lord Nityananda, who was at the time in Panihati. Lord Nityananda was sitting on a rock under a banyan tree on the banks of the Ganga and was surrounded by many devotees. Lord Nityananda was as effulgent as a hundred thousand rising suns. Raghunath Das Goswami paid his obeisances from a distance. One devotee told Lord Nityananda, look, Raghunath Das is paying obeisances. Hearing this, Lord Nityananda said, Raghunath Das, you're hiding like a thief. Now you must come here and see me. Today, I will punish you. Raghunath Das didn't want to come near. So Lord Nityananda forcibly caught him and put his lotus feet on Raghunath Das's head. Can you imagine what great fortune that is to have Lord Nityananda's lotus feet on our head? So Lord Nityananda, by nature, he's very funny and he's the most merciful. So in this mood, he told Raghunath Das to celebrate a big festival in Panihati and feed all the devotees with yogurt and chipped rice. Raghunath Das did not see this as a punishment, but as the greatest benediction. He had received the greatest opportunity to serve Lord Nityananda and all the devotees. So we should try to adopt the same mood of Raghunath Das to be enthusiastic and happy whenever we get the opportunity to serve Krishna and his devotees. Raghunath Das immediately sent men all to the nearby villages to get different items such as yogurt, chipped rice, sugar, condensed milk, bananas, mangoes. And when everybody was hearing about this festival, brahmanas, scholars and different devotees assembled at Panihati to celebrate this festival that was coming up. Lord Nityananda changed his cloth and sat on a raised platform along with all of his close associates. Raghunath Das brought the seven huge pots of chipped rice in front of Lord Nityananda. Every single devotee got two pots, one pot of chipped rice and yogurt and the other pot with chipped rice and condensed milk. Once everyone had been served, Lord Nityananda closed his eyes and meditated on Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And guess what? From Lord Nityananda's meditation, Lord Chaitanya appeared at the festival of Panihati. When Lord Chaitanya arrived, Lord Nityananda stood up and welcomed Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Nityananda started getting chipped rice from all the devotees' pots and feeding Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya also was getting chipped rice from all the devotees' pots and feeding Lord Nityananda. And they were both laughing in ecstasy. Lord Nityananda was walking through the devotees, but no one could really understand why he was laughing and walking around like that. But only a few fortunate souls could see that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had appeared at the festival. So in this great ecstasy, Lord Nityananda offered a seat next to him for Lord Chaitanya and both brothers began to eat the chipped rice. They went into great ecstasy and the holy names, Hari Hari, resounded the entire universe. Lord Nityananda washed his hands and the brahmanas offered him garlands, chandan and betel nuts which he then distributed to all the devotees with his own hands. He then rested and in the evening went to the temple of Raghava Pandit. He filled the entire world with ecstatic love by his chanting and dancing. Lord Nityananda's dancing cannot be compared to anything within the three worlds. It is so beautiful and so sweet that whenever Lord Nityananda dances, Lord Chaitanya personally comes to see it. So let's pray to Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda that we always remain under the shelter of their lotus feet. And maybe one day, we may also be blessed with the great fortune of having their lotus feet on our heads. If you like this video, please send lots of love. Haribo!